Into the Action News Jack's newsroom, CSX says train crossing arms were working properly this morning when an Amtrak hit a JTA bus in Riverside. And Sky Action News Jacks flew over the intersection where this happened, and we were also here on the ground getting video to show you the damage. Now, Action News Jacks investigator Ryan Nelson joins us live from Riverside now. And Ryan, you're learning what happened in the moments just before the crash. And Tanika JTA tells me its buses are outfitted with several cameras and they were rolling at the time of this crash. Now, after reviewing the video, JTA says the bus approached this intersection at Post and McDuff when the arms came down and the signal started flashing. I heard the ding, ding, ding of the railroad crossing. Kelvin Frazier was opening the subway nearby when he heard the train's horn blaring. So then I heard just a loud, just a train horn, just. <laughs> A JTA spokesperson tells me the bus driver crossed the Post and McDuff intersection at about 6.40 a.m. heading east when the crossing arm came down and the signal started flashing. Moments later, we're told the Amtrak train hit the right front side of the bus, which had nine people on board. Frazier saw the immediate aftermath. I was like, oh my God, you know, <laughs> it's an accident. And that's when I seen everybody, just the rescue coming, the police officers coming, CSX coming. JTA says the driver went to the hospital as a precaution and was later released. Spokesperson David Cotton II says in a statement, the bus driver has, quote, been placed on hold off status without pay. Through that investigation, we will determine whether the operator followed protocols outlined in the bus operator's rule book and whether any disciplinary action is necessary. And in this white car sitting in the parking lot near this intersection is a JTA supervisor. We're told that he's actually monitoring traffic here at this intersection today following the crash. Now, coming up all new at 6, we'll break down what JTA says it's doing to make sure intersections like these with railroad crossings are as safe as they can be here in Jacksonville. Reporting in Riverside, Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Action News Jax.